Now we'll go to Romania for remarks by Irina Dumitrita Solomon, the coordinator of the government's interministerial committee for monitoring the implementation of the national strategy for preventing and combating anti-Semitism. Romania adopted the IRA working definition of anti-Semitism back in 2017 and has implemented the definition as a training tool for its police force. Coordinator Solomon, welcome to our program today. First of all, I would like to congratulate you for this initiative, which brings a real contribution to the international efforts of combating anti-Semitism and protecting our democratic values. It is our duty to fight anti-Semitism, racism, radicalization and hate speech. And Romania has been very committed in this respect. The IRA working definition of anti-Semitism was adopted in 2016 during the Romanian presidency of IRA, and it was one of the chairmanship's lead projects. Romania has endorsed nationally the IRA working definition of anti-Semitism in 2017 and it has been incorporated into Romanian law in 2018. The new law introduced sanctions for promoting anti-Semitic ideas, for using anti-Semitic materials in public, as well as for making, selling, disseminating or holding anti-Semitic materials. The definition is currently being used both in courts but also as a working definition in training and educational programs. Judicial authorities currently employ the IRA working definition in identifying and dealing with hate crime related to anti-Semitism. Moreover, starting with 2017, the National Institute for Romanian Holocaust Studies, Elevizel, has organized training programs for gendarmerie, law enforcement officers, judges, and prosecutors. Since 2017, more than 150 police officers and approximately 90 officers for, from the intelligence service have attended training sessions of, of the IRA working definition of anti-Semitism. Another important result was the adoption of a code of conduct on combating anti-Semitism in universities, of which the IRA definition is an integral part. So far, 30 state universities have adopted the code. On the other hand, we have continued to encourage states and organizations such as the European Union, the Organization for Security and Cooperation in Europe, the Council of Europe to endorse IRA on legally binding working definition of anti-Semitism. Two years ago, the Romanian government adopted its first national strategy for preventing and combating anti-Semitism, xenophobia, radicalization and hate speech. This is an essential instrument, especially in the current context, in which we can notice an intensification of conspiracy theories as well as the proliferation of anti-Semitic, racist or xenophobic messages, especially online. The strategy has an action plan which includes 36 concrete programs structured on the three major objectives of the strategy. Security of vulnerable communities, promoting tolerance, civic education and the resilience of the Romanian society. And the last one, enhancing international efforts to combat anti-Semitism, xenophobia, radicalization and hate speech. An interministerial committee under my coordination is responsible for monitoring the implementation of the strategy and focused on achieving concrete results. Since adoption of the strategy, we could highlight some progress. All the main actions foreseen in the action plan have started and a significant number were already completed. The institutional capacities developed to prevent and combat antisemitism, xenophobia, radicalization and hate speech have demonstrated their viability. Against this background, the activity of internal and interinstitutional working group has developed in close dialogue with civil society organizations. Progress has also been made in developing more effective methodologies for identifying, reporting and assessing incidents. The strategy pays special attention to the need of developing a toolbox that will allow us to have a better understanding and diagnostic of anti-Semitism in Romania. For example, the Romanian Ministry of Internal Affairs has created two working groups dedicated to this, this subject. The first one is tasked with the periodical assessment of the security risks and the second one has developed a new methodology of reporting cases of hate crime. As an element of novelty and as a tribute to our legacy, specialists in the research of the Holocaust and two Holocaust survivors attended the meetings. I would also like to mention two other key points of our work. Romania has started setting up a national museum of Jewish history and the Holocaust and starting with the next school year, the history of the Jews and the Holocaust in Romania will be studied as a compulsory subject in Romanian high schools. I will conclude by recalling that we will continue to encourage states and organizations to endorse IRA's non-legally binding working definition of anti-Semitism and we will continue our unwavering support for the definition. Romania will be active both internationally and nationally 
in the field of combating antisemitism and Holocaust denial or distortion, preserving the memory of the Holocaust victims and supporting Holocaust education. Thank you very much. Thank you, Coordinator Solomon, for providing us with a deeper understanding of Romania's approach to combating antisemitism. We appreciate the important work you and your government are doing.